Beautiful Wednesday morning, my dear virtual learners. It is nice to see you again. I'm glad that you are in my class. How have you been? Mm -hmm. I hope you are all in great condition and very ready to learn. I am your virtual teacher this morning and welcome for another virtual learning experience only here at Valenzuela Live. Allow me first to present to you our most essential learning competency, and that is reacting to lay value judgment on critical issues that demand sound analysis and call for prompt action. We will also be developing these sub-skill. Relate text content to particular social issues, concerns, or dispositions in real life. We will be using English 9 Module 8. You may also ask questions and I will be willingly answer them later in the question and answer part. But before we go on with our lesson, I hope you have your learning packet in English with you and a pen and a paper for taking down notes. So are you ready? Let's begin. Let's start our lesson with this activity I entitled What's the logo? I will show you different logos. And all you need to do is identify to what brand the logo belongs to. You will be given 15 seconds to answer. Write your answer in the comments section below. With that, this is logo number 1. I know that all of you are almost familiar with this logo. So write down your answers. Mm -hmm. Very good. This logo belongs to Apple. Let's see how about this second logo. Are you familiar with this one? Can you guess which brand owns this logo? Uh-huh. Yes, exactly. This is from the brand Xiaomi. Okay. How about this third one? Let's see who are among you is familiar with this logo. I can see already correct answers. Yes, right. This logo is Huawei. How about this logo number four? Can you guess which brand owns this logo? Mm -hmm. Yes, nice try. Come on, keep your answers going. Great! This logo belongs to Blackberry. Okay, and let's go with our last logo. You identify what logo or brand this logo belongs to. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. This logo is from Real Me. Wow, you did great in our activity. It seems that all of you are familiar with the logos that I have shared to you. Now, class, what have you noticed in all the logos that you identified? Mm -hmm. Correct. They are all phone brand logos. Now, did you know that 7.26 billion people around the world owned a phone? And that is 91.54% of the world's population. Wow, that's so many. Now, in a fast-changing world where the widespread of availability of mobile devices, it enables us to easily connect to everyone. Having a phone is already almost a basic necessity. But did you know that before mobile phones or Android phones and Apple phones came into existence, there are telephones. I want you to study this picture. What can you see on this picture? Yes, these are the images that shows the 
evolution of telephone from the old model going to the latest one. Let's see each picture. Now, we can see here in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell was awarded the first U.S. patent for the invention of the telephone in 1876. In 1880s, the cradle phone was invented. In 1960s, uh, I, I know that uh, your lolos and lolas and your parents uh, used this kind or type of telephones. No? So, this is the touch tone pad phone and in 1988 no car phones are invented in the year 2000 uh, cell phones no meet the internet where we use cell phone in browsing the internet through data or wi-fi and 27 the first generation of apple phone was released and in 2010 samsung released its first android phone and up to now, the evolution of cell phones continues. Why I keep mentioning about telephone class? Because today, I will share to you a poem entitled, The Telephone by Edward Field. But first, let me share to you a brief background of its author. Edward Field. On June 7, 1924, he was born in Brooklyn, New York. He began writing poetry during World War II after a Red Cross worker handed him an anthology of poetry. In 1963, his book Stand Up, Friend With Me was awarded the prestigious Lamont Poetry Prize and was published in 1992. He also received a Lambda Award for Counting Myself Lucky in Selected Poems, 1963 to 1992. The poem Telephone is included in his book Counting Myself Lucky. So I want you to listen and read carefully as I read the poem. The Telephone by Edward Field My happiness depends on an electric appliance, and I do not mind giving it so much credit. With life in this city being what it is, each person separated from friends by a tangle of subways and buses. Yes, my telephone is my joy. It tells me that I am in the world and wanted. It rings and I am alerted to love or gossip. I go comb my hair which begins to sparkle. Without it, I was like a bear in a cave. Browsing through a shadow of winter, it rings and spring has come. I stretch and humble out into the sunshine, hungry again as I pick up the receiver for the human voice and the good news of friends. I hope you read and listen well, class. Now, for you to understand well the poem, I have chosen five lines from it. Let's have this activity decoding poetry to interpret the meaning of the poem we will try to decode or interpret the message of the lines that i will be sharing to you i will ask question each line and you are all free to comment your answers in the comment section below so are you ready great let's begin decoding for our first line my happiness depends on electric appliance and I do mind giving it so much credit. Now, class, my question is, what do you think is the predominant feeling of the speaker in these lines? Mm -hmm. Keep your answers coming. Yes, exactly. Happiness and being grateful is the predominant feeling of the speaker in this line. He is happy and grateful for the existence of the electric appliance. So he's very much happy on having the telephone. And he even mentioned that he do not mind giving it so much credit because he is very thankful for it. And we can also relate with this feeling, right? 
our phones can bring us happiness by its different function like browsing the internet, uh, the social media, and even makes our life easier in so many ways. We can even go shopping online just in a click of our fingers and on the comfort of our homes. Just add cart and place order, maybe in Lazada or shopping. How about this second line? With life in the city being what is, each person separated friends by a tangle of subways and buses. My question is, why are friends disconnected based on this line? Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. Friends become disconnected of many reasons. Busy schedule, maybe of work, you know, school, or because they also belong to different places. But again, they will not be disconnected of personally because there's a telephone or phone that can make them connected. Just through text or chatting in Messenger or in Viber, even video chatting through Zoom or FB, we can connect to them anytime, wherever may we. Third line. Let's read it. Yes, my phone is my joy. It tells me that I am the world and wanted. It rings and I am alerted to. Love or gossip, I go comb my hair, which begins to sparkle. The question, how does the speaker justify his joy of having a telephone? Yes. Uh-huh. Nice answer. The statement, the telephone is joy, this signifies that the telephone makes him connected in the world and makes him aware and informed regarding on what's happening around him. And that is all we know the advantage, one of the advantages of having and using a phone. It makes us connected with everyone no matter how near or far we are. Now, let's go with line number four. Without it, I was like a bear in a cave, drowning through a shadowy winter. It rings and spring has come. Question. What value do people give to the telephone when he has the access to it? Yes. Great answer. Here it says that the people really labeled the phone as an important gadget because it gives life to a person. Now let's go with the last line, line number five. I stretch and humble out into the sunshine, hungry again as I pick up the receiver for the human voice and the good news of friends. Question, what does the speaker is hunger for? Yes. Very good. And this part, the speaker show hunger for connecting to the world. The idea that someone texted or called him, so it is indeed that through the telephone, the speaker is connected to the people and to the world. And for our lesson takeaways for this day, the telephone is a commentary on the invention of the telephone and how it is connected people who were isolated by their city living conditions. The theme of the poem is self-identity and happiness through an object in one's life. You did great in answering the questions. Now, if you have questions or more questions about the poem and what we have discussed, or you want to clarify something, what has been shared to you, you're free to type your concerns on the comment box. 
a minute will be given to you to send your questions and our teacher moderator will be gathering them. Your one minute starts now. time's up. I hope you're able to send your questions. Thank you for our teacher moderator who gathered them. I will now start reading some of your questions and answer them as well. For question number one, it is from Bagbagi National High School. Is there any disadvantage or disadvantages of having or using a phone? Hmm. Same as the all kind of things belong to this world, have their advantages and disadvantages. Constant destruction, social disruption, um, never-ending workdays, ongoing expenses, uh, cause of accidents sometimes, health problems, and even youth crimes are some of the disadvantages of having and using mobile phones. But, as we all know, mobile phone has both effects, good and bad, for the people. But it depends on how we use it. If we use it in a good way, then it will be beneficial for us. Or if we use it in a bad way, then obviously it will result to something that is not good or bad. I hope I answered your question. Now, let's go to the next question. Is mobile phones a necessity or luxury? Interesting question. Actually, in early days, keeping a mobile phone or telephone was a costly affair, so it was a status symbol. And people were in minority sometimes cannot afford to buy them. But as time passed and slowly, mobile phone becomes a part of our life. Now, it is neither a status symbol nor luxury electronic gadget. It is now a basic need of a person. Thank you so much for actively participating in our question and answer portion. I am positive that you will be able to complete the succeeding tasks in your learning packets. Allow me to give you a quick walkthrough on your activities. For your activity, Task 1, what I know, you're going to read the following conversation in a telephone, identify which are acceptable and not acceptable. For task 2, what's new, you're going to arrange the jumbled letters to get the correct answer. And for the last activity, which is the assessment, you're tasked to make a telephone conversation to someone you haven't talked for a long time. Then the rubric will serve as your guide on your performance task. Good job, everyone! Before we end, I would like to thank our technical support teacher and our teacher moderator for their contribution in making this learning engagement possible. Another fruitful, engaging, and meaningful school year is done. On behalf of Teacher Janine, Teacher Wenny, Teacher Mark, Teacher Elaine, and Teacher Joy, Thank you for always actively participating our dear grade 9 students. This has been Teacher Jeannie and see you again next time for another episode of Virtual English Class only here at Valenzuela Live where distance is never a hindrance to learning. Stay home, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye!